What's up YouTube? The Making of series is back, and as you can tell by the title, the man himself, the legend, Mr. Marquez, is finally getting a nice custom mechanical keyboard. It's about time, I mean come on, mechanical keyboards, it's literally a part of his name. Hello, hello, and welcome if you're a new viewer through this video or an old time viewer that kind of forgot about this channel because I have been neglecting it the past couple of years. Welcome back. My name is Teha and I build custom mechanical keyboards on this channel as well as just cover the mechanical keyboard hobby. So a little backstory about how this project came to be. Back in 2019, Marquez posted a tweet about his first full time custom mechanical keyboard. And it was a picture of a Keychron K2, no surprises there. And honestly, for the time, for the specifications and requirements that he was looking for, the K2 was honestly probably one of the better keyboards that he could have purchased. So immediately after seeing this tweet, I shot my shot. And to no surprise, no response from Marquez. You know, not butter or anything. He's an important man, he probably gets pinged a thousand times every day. There's, there's no way I get noticed, right? So, you know, no butter, no hard feelings. But then, random Frank P chimes in, and then boom, Marquez joins the thread. And oh my god, you have no idea how excited I was to even be in the same Twitter thread <laughs> with one of the you know, few creators that I look up to and have been watching consistently since I've, I grew up. So honestly, without Frank and his vouch, I don't think this project would have come to be. So. Frank, if you're watching this, huge thank you to you. Um, you're an awesome guy. And I've, I've also had the pleasure and honor of being able to work with Frank on a couple projects as well. So yeah, so af immediately after Marquez responds, uh, Omnitype, one of my sponsors, joins the conversation. And he cooks up a couple nice looking renders of a custom Bauer that, has some, that had some MKBHD personal branding on it. And then from there, I guess, I guess Marquez took the bait and we joined the email. We moved over to an email chain from there on and the rest is history. So I guess the moral of the story, you know, regardless of who you are, sh don't be afraid to shoot your shot. I don't know, just kidding. There's no moral to the story. That's just the backstory. Okay, so you guys probably want to see what the keyboard looks like. Let's get to the actual components. All right, so these are the components that we will be using today to build MKBHD's keyboard. This was a collaboration project with Omnitype, who is a channel sponsor, as well as the sponsor of this video, and they provided the majority of the components today. Most notably, of course, the Bauer keyboard case, which was custom manufactured. Now there is an order to keyboard building, so I won't show you guys the keyboard case just quite yet, as we have to take care of some prep work, starting with a bit of lube. The switches we'll be using are Hyperglide Cherry MX Brown switches. I got these from Swag Keys, but you can purchase them from a ton of other keyboard vendors. But they are not your typical browns, as I have already had them actuated for 500,000 times, such that when Mr. Marquez takes delivery of this keyboard, it should already feel smooth out of the box. And before any uninformed keyboard warrior remarks about how I've shortened the lifespan of MKBHD's keyboard, relax. These switches are rated for a lifespan of 100 million actuations, and for shaving off 0.5% of the switch's lifespan for a significant increase in smoothness out of the box, I would say it's pretty worth it. Stock cherry springs aren't known to be the greatest, so we will be replacing the springs in these switches with a popular choice amongst the enthusiast community, some good old 65 gram TX long springs. And of course, cherry switches absolutely need switch films. So I have a pack of TX films here as well. Now what we're going to do is disassemble every single switch that we have here, separate out the components, apply lubricants to the necessary areas as well as replace certain parts that require replacing, and then reassemble everything back together. Now if you're unfamiliar with switch lubing, I do have a tutorial on this channel so I will defer you to that as it's a fairly long process and this is probably going to take me around 8 hours if I had to guess. 
Now that we finished lubing our switches, it's now time to lube our stabilizers. The stabilizers that I'll be using today are TX stabilizers, and they're some of the best stabilizers that you can currently purchase for any custom mechanical keyboard build, and I highly recommend them. And I also have a tutorial on how to lube your stabilizers, which I will also defer you to, as this takes quite a while as well. Lastly, we need to confirm that our PCB actually works. And we're going to do this by trying to get each key position to register by shorting the pads and checking with VIA, my preferred keyboard tester of choice. Okay, all our prep work is done and we can now start assembling all the components together. It's time I finally unveil the keyboard. Alright, and just like that, the keyboard is finally built. Now, I didn't go into every step into detail in this video as it would have made it way too long, but if you are interested in learning how to build your own keyboard, subscribing to this channel is the best way. And I do also live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash where you can watch the entire process live as well as ask questions live on stream. As for how this build turned out, I have to say, I think OmniType really outdid themselves. I have an entire making of series where I build keyboards for different content creators, but I have to say this is probably the most coherent in terms of branding and presentation tailored to the specific creator that it's for. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. And one final touch, OmniType did get a custom Icons desk mat. This isn't an official product. Um, this is just a one-off that OmniType had made just for this video. So don't go asking them to produce this because uh, this is just a one-off just for the purpose of presentation, but let's see how it looks. The Icons desk mat with the red and black keyboard, red and black and gray keycaps with the custom MKBHD logo artisan keycap. And to tie everything together, we have a red and black cable made from another sponsor of mine, Cable Mod. And just to tie it off, 
boom, we have a completely red and black themed on KBHD keyboard build right here. Now I'm sure you guys are all dying to hear what this sounds like, but before we get to the typing test, a quick word from the sponsor of this video, OmniType. Hello fellow typists and keyboard enthusiasts. I'm thrilled to introduce you to the Bauer Lite, a keyboard that many in the space have been waiting years for. Designed in-house by OmniType, the Bauer Lite is an enthusiast labor of love and an exceptionally crafted product that caters to both newcomers and enthusiasts alike. Affordability and premium quality often seem to be mutually exclusive. However, the Bauer Lite bridges this gap, offering an exceptional experience without breaking the bank. Its injection molded polycarbonate case takes notes from the Bauer, offering durability and elegance. For those unfamiliar, the Bauer is the keyboard model which the MKBHD keyboard I built is based off of. So if you liked how the keyboard being built in this video for MKBHD sounded or looked, the Bauer Lite is essentially a more affordable injection molded variant as opposed to the custom CNC machined Bauer. The plate offers both backspace options with no compromises to either with the breakaway plate. This provides a comfortable and familiar typing experience while its fully programmable software allows you to tailor the keyboard layout to your unique workflow and needs. Its customizable design allows you to mix and match extra tops, bottoms, and plates with their five available color options, along with the flexibility to swap Bauer 2 or Bauer Lite plates to create a keyboard that reflects your individuality and desired aesthetic. Manufactured in the United States, the local production not only ensures impeccable quality control, but also allows OmniType to maintain in-stock availability, eliminating the frustration of lengthy group buys. Visit omnitype.com slash tehatypes to explore the Bauer Lite and discover a keyboard that's as unique as you are. That just about wraps up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I used to do the making of series live on Twitch and then I would upload a condensed kind of highlight video, which I didn't honestly like. So this is the first time I've actually produced something like this. So there's definitely things to improve on. Let me know what you guys liked, didn't liked, uh, what you wanna see more of in future videos like this because I definitely do have more collaborations planned with other content creators. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. If you guys liked the video, let me know as well. Um, and yeah, huge shout outs to OmniType for sponsoring this video, as well as providing the, of course, the most important component, the actual keyboard case itself. They have been a channel sponsor for about as long as I've been active on this platform. So yeah, they're an awesome sponsor. And hopefully MKBHD likes this. I don't know if he'll have received it by the time this video goes live, but yeah, fingers crossed, hopefully he likes it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but um, Vin, one of his team members has been using a similar keyboard that I also previously built. So it's nice to see these kind of Easter eggs come out, but if you're not a keyboard enthusiast, you might not have even noticed. Uh, but yeah, this is it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya, nerds.